Waycross Community Media Sports presents the 1997 Denny Beeler Memorial Softball Tournament from Spoils Field. This is our 18th annual charity softball tournament between final game between the Atomic Dogs and Quality Sports. Boyles Field in Green Hills, Ohio. And we've just gotten the game underway with a foul ball. The Atomic Dogs will be the first team batting and Quality Sports will be in the field. The Atomic Dogs have still not lost a game in this double elimination tournament. Quality Sports has. So, if Quality Sports can win this game, we will play another. Jim starts out the game by flying out to the shortstop. And we've got one out. Quality Sports just came up out of the losers bracket where they defeated Nice Carpets. And they have to beat the Atomic Dogs twice. Atomic Dogs only have to beat them once. And Melissa batting for the Atomic Dogs. <laughs> Melissa with a ground ball to third, and that's going to get through for a single. So the first base runner for the Atomic Dogs. Now the batter will be Scott. And if you followed softball in Cincinnati, you've no doubt heard of Scott Hine. Scott with a grounder to short for the fielder's choice. The pitcher covering second base on that play. And we've got two outs. Now Mary will be the batter. And Mary lofts one out to left center field for the third out. So we've played a half of an inning here. We've got no score. The Atomic Dogs are up and down. They'll be taking the field now, and Quality Sports will be coming to bat for the first time. This is our 18th annual Denny Beeler Memorial Softball Classic. Started this in 1980. Every year we get together, have a mixed couples tournament here, raise money for a charitable cause. It's Championship Sunday here. One of these two teams will be the winner of this tournament. The Atomic Dogs get got here by beating this quality sports team in an early round. Quality sports coming up through the losers bracket today. And if they win this tournament, it'll be because they won about six games today. They played a couple games earlier. And then you have to win about four in a row. They defeated Ross Bakery. They defeated Nice Carpets. And now they've got to beat the Atomic Dogs twice. This is Rick, the leadoff batter and captain of the quality sports squad. And he laces a grounder up the middle, and he's going to try for second base. Safe. Safe, says the umpire. The tag got him, and the umpire was just about to call him out, but the ball was not in Scott's glove. The ball was underneath Rick. 
I don't think that felt too good either. So a leadoff double here. And Tina will be the batter. We're just in the bottom of the first here. And Tina with a nice single. Rick will hold it third. Because there's no outs. And Ty's coming to bat. Ty hits a grounder in the left. That's going to get through the outfielder. Rick will score easily. Tina's going to score easily. And Ty's going to have an in-the-park home run. So just a little bobble by the left fielder. And quickly, it's a three-run in-the-park home run. They capitalize on mistakes. If you make a mistake, they make you pay for it. Julie will be the batter. And Julie with a ground ball to short. Nice throw by Scott to get her. So we've got one down. And here's Tiny. Tiny singles up the middle. So we've got one out. Tiny on first, and Julie will be the batter. Three runs have already come across for quality sports here in the bottom of the first. <coughs> and Julie hits the gap between the first and second baseman. So she'll be aboard, moving Tiny to second. set. Hank the batter. And Hank showed us what he was all about Friday night when he hit the first out of the park grand slam of this tournament. Yeah, almost effortlessly. And that's out of the park. So he shows us a three run homer here. It's a six to nothing ball game. That's the last home run you'll see him hit. The next one that somebody on that team puts over the fence, it's gonna be an out. We only allow one home run per team. But quality sports came coming out right off the bat and showing the atomic dogs that they're here to win this tournament, even if they have to beat them twice. Six to nothing, and only one out. And Carroll hits a foul ball. is not can quality sports beat the atomic dogs it's will they beat them twice that's that's a serious feat considering that they've just got done playing two really tough games already 
while the Atomic Dogs have been sitting in the shade getting ready for them. Carroll with a ground ball to short, and that takes a bad hop. So she'll be aboard. Hubert to play. He'll take a couple balls. Now in mixed couples, if if the guy walks, the girl that's in the batting order behind him also has the option to walk. Give up one walk to a guy, you'll give up a second one. Greg with a single. He'll be at first. Carroll over at second. And now Sue comes to the plate. dribbler back to the pitcher. He'll go to second with it. Not in time to get a double play out of that. But they do record the second out of the inning. So Carroll gets to third base. Sue on first base with two down. And Randy will be the batter. He'll take a called strike. And he'll chop one into the gap in right field. Kathy Wessendorf comes over and cuts it off. So Carroll gets home on that. It's now a seven to nothing ball game. You've got Randy on second. And we've got Sue on third and Mary will be the batter. Ground ball to short. Scott picks it up. Nice throw. That's the inning. So after one complete, Quality Sports with a 7 to nothing lead. The Atomic Dogs wanting to get something going here in a second. Spoils Field here in Green Hills for the 18th annual Denny Beeler Memorial Tournament. We had good weather all weekend. We've had some great softball games. The last game was a uh, real nail biter. Quality Sports coming out with a one-run win, scoring in the bottom of the seventh to end the game. All right, we're ready to go here with the second inning. Tony will be the batter. Joe Darling's in the house. Got another candidate for Dump Queen, 1997. with that call. And he lines out to the second baseman. 
So we've got one out. <coughs> and coming up for the Atomic Dogs, we'll have Angie. A foul ball down the left field line. Nobody has a chance to get that one. out to right and we've got two down already so maybe that sit in the shade didn't benefit the atomic dogs they're a little bit slow coming out of the gate here they trail by a score of seven to nothing gets it started with a base hit. That's off the left fielder's foot. And Mike's going to turn that into at least a double. That'll bring up Chris. start the second inning as quality sports batted through the entire lineup in the bottom of the first. Ground ball to short. Scott comes up firing. Not able to get him. He knew he had to come up with a quick throw because of Rick's speed. So with Rick on. 
on first. That'll bring up Tina. And nobody out. Tina will fly out to right center field, so there will be one away. And that'll bring up Ty. Scott with the unassisted double play, and he gets the dogs out of trouble here. Now we've played two complete. Quality sports with a seven to nothing lead. Besides here, we'd like to thank Waycross for bringing the TV cameras and the truck and uh, all the equipment out to uh, put our games on Access TV. This is a total volunteer effort, and we appreciate them coming to our tournament every year. Just about ready to go with the top of the third inning here. And the left fielder, Greg, will lead off for the Atomic Dogs. Greg's had quite a few good plays today. He had a ball get away from him in the first inning of this game. But he has been the star of two of their other games. Atomic Dogs trying to get something going here. Kathy Wessendorf, the batter, and she hits a fly ball that'll be caught, so she fouls out. That'll be one out. Jim, the pitcher, will be the batter. and that's going to load the bases because not only does Jim walk, but Melba's going to walk. One of our tournament rules are is if you walk one of the guys, the girl behind him has the option of also taking a walk. So that'll put Greg on third, Jim on second, Melba on first, and Scott Hine the batter. And he's going to want to get to the fence. That's going to stay in the yard. So he'll fly out to left center field, but Greg will tag and score. An important thing is that puts the Atomic Dogs on the board. They trail by a score of seven to one, but you've got to start somewhere. So with 
with two outs, Mary will come to the plate. And Mary chops the first pitch back the middle. That's going to be the third out. But the Atomic Dogs have gotten on the board now with one run. They skip, trail by a score of 7-1 to one as we go to the bottom half of the third. Quality sports will be coming to bat. try to get something happening this inning just to keep the momentum from swinging over to the Atomic Dogs. Because they've got to win two games here and they don't want to don't want to go out of here without any momentum. Tiny's the batter. Tiny will ground out to Jim as well and there's two outs. bring up the other Julie. up to the shortstop to end the inning. So Quality Sports goes down one, two, three here in the bottom of the third. And that doesn't really bode well for them because if the Atomic Dogs get the momentum, they're on the board now. If they get the momentum, They've got the potential to score a lot of runs in a hurry. A 7-1 to one lead may not hold up. We're doing a little split the pot drawing up here in the booth. All the proceeds of this tournament go to a charitable cause. Started back in 1980. And has been the Denny Beeler Memorial Tournament now for 18 years. And we know if Denny's watching, he supports our efforts. So Tony flies out for the Atomic Dogs. There's one out here in the fourth inning. And Angie will be the batter. Angie takes a strike. And a ground ball to third. Mary comes up firing. And she got her. 
So we've got two down. This is turning into a quick Go defensive three, game. Six, seven, seven, four. Mike the batter. He's going to ground out to the shortstop. So both teams going down one, two, three. We're going to go to the bottom half of the fourth. Quality Sports with a seven to one lead. seen some good games this weekend. We've had a good time grilling out, watching oh, some nine, softball three, up here six, on the hill. We're going to start the bottom half of the fourth here with Hank. Hank with a three-run shot in the first inning. He's responsible for nearly half of this uh, score and uh, half of this lead. And Hank might have hit it too far. Because that's a home run, and that's an out right over top of the Wellman construction sign. You're only allowed one home run per team, and he's he's already given his team there. So over the fence it goes, and he's out. That'll bring up the second batter, Carroll. Carroll hits one into right field. Kathy Westendorf will handle that. And we've got two down. So a big first inning for quality sports and not much happening since then. <coughs> Greg Huber will be the batter here. With two outs. And Greg with a long foul ball. started with a base hit. That's off the left fielder's chest and Greg's off to second. And just makes it. The shortstop let the throw go through to the second baseman and it was almost there. Sue will be the batter. And Sue's going to line out to the third baseman. So we've played four complete innings. The Atomic Dogs are coming to bat. They trail by six runs. They need to get something going there. Another one, folks. Last call for number 826. Starts off and start it off. Chris will come to bat. 
top of the fifth. Atomic Dogs trailing by a score of seven to one. Joe on deck. Greg delivers the pitch. And we're underway with the fifth inning. One and one now for Chris. And Chris lines it right back to the pitcher. One down. Joe, who came in for Greg, will be batting. And he hits gap in right field. And he's got all kind of wheels. He's on his way to third. He takes a look. And the throw comes in. The pitcher cuts it off. He'll stay at third. There's only one out. One run isn't, isn't worth risking it out at the plate. And that's going to bring up Kathy Westendorf. Concede the run to get the out. So it's now a seven to two ball game. Wise decision there. You're still up five runs. And you've got them down to two outs now. Jim, the pitcher for the Atomic Dogs, will come to bat. He singles in the right field. So with two outs, Mel will get a chance to try and bring him around. Greg said. So Melba takes a walk here. We've got two base runners on. <laughs> Scott Hine comes to the plate. Is a ball outside. You can't pitch around him too much because if he walks, it'll give up a run. Scott with a line drive in the left for a base hit. Jim will turn the corner and score easily. Melba gets to second. So we've still got two aboard, and Mary will be the batter. So the Atomic Dogs starting to chip away at this lead. Getting two runs this inning. There's a ground ball to third. She'll handle that by herself, and that'll be the inning. So the Atomic Dogs get two. They now trail by a score of seven to three as we go to the bottom half of this fifth inning.
Joe's going to stay in the game and play well, left for the Atomic Dogs. And Steve Stacy has just been awarded the dubious honor of Dump King. He's the king of our tournament. That was only fair. Scientific. <laughs> okay, Steve We're ready to go with the bottom of the fifth here. Randy will be the batter. <laughs> Ground ball to second, over the glove. And he'll hold it first. A good effort by Kathy Westendorf to cut that off and get it back to the infield in a hurry as Randy has quite a bit of speed. That'll bring up Mary. Foul ball, third baseman catches it, and we've got one out. Rick will be the batter. He's Randy's brother. Randy on first, one down. And the name of the game with these guys is speed. Oh, Scott Hine makes a great play at short. Catches it at the shoelaces, fires to first. He had Randy hung up off the bag to throw just a little bit low. So Randy remains at first, and we've got two outs with Tina coming to bat. Atomic Dogs, though, averted a near catastrophe there. There's a ground ball to Scott. He wins the race to the bag. And that was a very close play, but that puts quality sports out here in the fifth inning. We'll go to the sixth inning now. We've got a seven to three ball game. Quality sports over the Atomic Dogs. Top of the six coming up. Dump Queen. You know, we call this place the Dump. It spoils field. It's built a, upon an old landfill where the incinerator used to be up here years ago. Nice place for a park. So we're ready to start the sixth inning. Tony will be the batter. And Tony with a long fly, left center field, and there's one away. Take a called strike. Angie with a blooper up the middle, and that's going to drop in, and now it's going to get through. But Ty was backing up the play, so she'll only get a single out of that. Good backup by Ty Stewart keeps that from being extra bases. And 
now John Beerman will be the batter. So John comes in to bat for Mike. And he's got the potential to reach your fences here. And you got to wonder if the dogs are going to try to take their home run right now. Getting late in the game, and two runs would cut the lead in half. That's a foul ball. That may get out of play. No, she makes the catch and then carries the ball out of play to avoid our TV camera. <laughs> so Angie's going to be awarded second base because the ball went out of play. They're asking the umpire, hey, she tried to save the TV camera. Why should we be penalized? say ground rules. If it's there, you got to avoid it. So two down. Angie on second. Chris will be the batter. Chris lifts one out to left field, and that'll be the inning. So the dogs get a hit, but they do no damage. We've played five and a half. Quality Sports coming to bat. They have a seven to three lead. takes a called strike. And she'll pop out to the first baseman. Oh, he dropped the ball. He was right next to the fence. <laughs> Just a little bobble, so it's going to be strike two. You got to think in the back of his mind, Crashing into that fence was not an attractive idea. And it may have interfered with his ability to make that catch. <laughs> Julie with a foul ball. You get one courtesy foul in this league after uh, two strikes. So if she hits another foul ball, it'll be an out. But she's still alive here.
There's a fair ball. Left center field. Melbo will handle that. Ty tags up and takes a couple steps, but he'll remain at first. So we've got one down, and that'll bring Tiny up to bat. at third, he's gonna try Joe's arm, and he's gonna be in there, and that's gonna allow Tiny to sneak into second. So with only one out, we've got two runners in scoring position. And Julie looking to pad this lead here for Quality Sports. fly ball in the left. That'll drop in there and Ty's going to score. So it's now an 8-3 to three lead. And Hank will be up. Hank did his damage with a three-run homer in the first inning. fly out to left. Tiny and Julie will both advance. So they'll tag up and go to second and third. We've got two down now. And Carol will be the batter. It's an eight to three lead here for Quality Sports. And if they continue and pull this out, we're going to play a two-game final here. The same two teams will meet again in the next game with winner taking all. As the Atomic Dogs will be moved into the loser's bracket. Scott with the scoop and the put out. So we've played six full innings. It's an eight to three lead for quality sports. And the Atomic Dogs are down to their last three outs. Often what you see in a double elimination. The team coming out of the winner's bracket is hot. And they managed to win the first one. But in order to win it all, they'll have to win that game that's going to be their fourth game in four hours. takes the first pitch right up the middle for a base hit. So the dogs have life. And Kathy Westendorf will now bat. Kathy had something in mind there. We're not sure what it was. She might have tried to check that swing. Now Kathy with a knuckleballer back to the pitcher. He'll throw to short. On to first for the put out. 
So that ends up being a double, double play. I don't think she got much of that. I think it came off the handle. So now the Atomic Dogs are down to their last out. And they're still down by five runs. Jim the batter. a base hit, so the dogs aren't done yet. But that's still a far cry from the five runs they're going to need to keep this game going. Melba the batter. She'll take a strike. And that'll be the ball game. So, Quality Sports wins the first half of this championship. see our children succeed but setting easy goals for our kids creates the toughest obstacle they'll ever face because succeeding in the real world isn't easy help the effort to raise standards in america's public schools call 1-800-96-PROMISE where's, where's dinner well i thought you'd be home a couple of hours ago and what, i what, put what, everything what, away what, so what I is this pizza if you had just called me i would have known dinner what ready is a pizza honey please don't be so loud please don't let go of me get in the kitchen no <laughs> do you want to see what hurts that's what hurts that's what hurts <laughs> for information call 1-800 end abuse this has been a production of Waycross Community Media, the access partnership of Forest Park, Green Hills, and Springfield Township with Warner Cable. Opinions are those of the program participants and do not necessarily represent the community governments or the cable company. If you have questions regarding this program or if you'd like to participate in the activities of Waycross, call 825-2429. Or write Waycross Community Media, 2086 Waycross Road, Forest Park, Ohio, 45240.